Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today I want to start with a question. What month do you think is best to release Animal Crossing Switch and why? Please leave a comment and I'll feature your answers next week. I want to talk a bit about seasons in Animal Crossing. Since Animal Crossing Switch was announced, I have always said that I think the game is going to come out at the end of 2019. The first date I set for myself was December 31st, 2019. I didn't want to get my hopes up for anything sooner because I've done that before with New Leaf and I knew I didn't want to go through that type of wait again. Recently, I made a video where I predicted the release date for Animal Crossing to be November 15th, 2019. While I got a lot of responses from people saying many different reasons why it couldn't be that date, there was one that stood out to me. I received a comment from Franny Bug that read, you're not even taking into consideration the season that the game will be released. Who wants to start Animal Crossing in the winter or late fall when there is considerably less to do during the season? It's a bad first impression. Also, I don't think they would release Animal Crossing so late into the season where you would only have half a season left to participate in seasonal events. This got me thinking about release times for Animal Crossing, and I was wondering what time of year would be the best time to release Animal Crossing Switch. Before Animal Crossing Switch was announced, I actually made a joke that it would be released on January 1st, 2021. I figured the first day of the year would be a good time to start a brand new town in Animal Crossing. It would also be a Friday, so that worked with Nintendo's release schedule. Finally, it was forever away so Nintendo could keep torturing us. But thinking about that day, it falls in the dead of winter and many fans seem to be disappointed with the winter months in Animal Crossing. I want to start by looking at the release dates for Animal Crossing games throughout each region and find what time of year they are typically released. Population Growing was pretty unique because it was released three separate times in Japan, and it took the longest to get out in every region. For now, I'm going to focus on the months that it came out. In Japan, it came out in April, then December, then June. It came out in September in North America and Europe, and October in Australia. The final release of the game was on January 1st, 2006 in China. I did want to point out that date because of the comment I made of starting on the first day of the year. Funny enough, that is also a Sunday, the day Nintendo used to release games. Wild World was more straightforward with release dates. Japan got the game in November, North America and Australia got the game in December, and Europe got the game in March. City Folk was the first and only Animal Crossing game to come out in the same year in all regions. USA, Canada, and Japan got the game in November 2008, while Europe and Australia got the game in December 2008. Finally, New Leaf was released in November in Japan and June for all other regions. The Welcome Amiibo update was in November for every region except North America. That came out in December there. So to break it down, we had one game release in January, zero in February, one in March, one in April, zero in May, four in June, zero in July, zero in August, two in September, one in October, eight in November, and six in December. In first place, we have November with eight releases. In second, we have December with six releases. And in third, we have June with four releases. Now the question I wanted to ask is this. Is November the best month to release an Animal Crossing game? In the past, I said that Animal Crossing is the type of game that would do incredibly well in the holiday season. Overall, it's kid-friendly and parents wouldn't have a problem buying it for their kids. Plus, it gets them to read more. But many people tell me that summer is a much better season for Animal Crossing. For example, kids are out of school and they don't have the regular responsibilities. They can just dedicate a lot of time to the game, which is likely what will happen. I started to think back to when I first played Animal Crossing. My first game was Population Growing on the GameCube. I was a freshman in high school when I started playing, and it was the beginning of the school year when I borrowed the game from a friend. That places my first experience of the game in late September or early October. I will say, I had a lot of fun playing through the autumn season as it was my first experience of Animal Crossing. It managed to spark a long time obsession in me that I'm nowhere near getting over. However, I think playing in that time did give me plenty to do. Halloween, Harvest, and Toy Day festivities kept me actively playing every single day. When winter rolled around, I was so excited by the magic of snow and igloos that I was never really disappointed. On snow days, I could spend my time cozy in my home, snuggled up with Animal Crossing. The whole experience makes me nostalgic to this day. 
For me, Animal Crossing felt like a very great game for fall and winter, but now that I make these videos, I see a lot of comments that feel differently. And you all make very valid points. Some commenters claim that the lack of bugs and fish during the winter gives them less to catch and donate to their museum. Others just don't like the look of the town when it's covered in snow for three months straight. Overall, there does seem to be a bareness to the game during the winter and late fall. While I don't know the right answer as to what month is best to release Animal Crossing, I will offer this perspective. I think a believable range of time that Animal Crossing Switch will release is September through December. I actually took a poll over on my Twitter to see which of those months people think the game will come out. A majority said September, and that could just be because it's the earliest month they could pick and would have picked an earlier month if it were available as an option, but when I think about it, September wouldn't be a bad month. For one, you have three huge months of events to look forward to. Halloween, Harvest, and Toy Day would be a great kickoff to the game. And after you've played all the way to the summer season, you have a huge amount of bugs, fish, and deep sea diving creatures to capture and complete your Pokedex- I mean, museum. Not only would you start off strong with a September release, but you'd finish strong with a summer finish. I always say that one of my favorite things about the game is that it is intended to be played every day for a year. Getting to experience a whole year like that would be fun. It also helps that it takes me back to my first days of playing Animal Crossing, so the nostalgic trip back to Haken would be great for me. But enough about me. I want to see your comments about when you think is the best time of year to release Animal Crossing. I want to know your thoughts. Remember, I'm going to pick some of them for next week's episode, so I'm excited to read them all. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy our content and want another way to support, feel free to visit patreon.com slash chewyplaysnintendo. I only ask that you only contribute if you truly feel like it's something you can manage. I'd rather you look out for your well-being before throwing us a dollar. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!